I'm standing on some of the exposed paving stones of the ancient Via Ignatia, or the Ignatian Way, an important Roman road that stretched from Dyrrhachium on the Adriatic all the way to Byzantium, what would later be Istanbul. The Ignatian Way entered through this gate, the Neapolis Gate, to the site of Philippi. Philippi was a very important city in both classical and early Christian history. On this site was a colony of the nearby island of Thasos called Crenides. Philip II, King of Macedon and father of Alexander the Great took this site because between it and Amphipolis he was able to control some important mines on Mount Pangaeon. He made it into an important city named after himself, Philopolis, or the city of Philip. During the Roman period, this city was the scene of a very important battle of one of the later Roman civil wars. The Battle of Philippi fought in 42 BC, where Mark Antony and Octavian, the later Augustus, fought the conspirators who had killed Octavian's adopted father, Julius Caesar. At the Battle of Philippi, fought somewhere outside the city, the forces of Antony and Octavian defeated the so-called Republican forces and eventually laid the way for Octavian's later dominance of the Roman Empire. On this rainy day, it's appropriate that it's overcast. Some of you know this story better from Julius Caesar, the drama by Shakespeare. So think of the ghost of Julius Caesar appearing. Anyway, on to Christian history. At this site, Paul and Silas, on their second missionary journey, entered the city Usually, of course, they would go to the synagogue and preach on the Sabbath, but at that particular point, there don't seem to have been enough Jews to have a minyan or corporate group to worship. So they went down to one of the rivers or streams outside the city where they met a group of people, Jews and God-fearers, gathered to pray. And it was there that Paul met Lydia, seller of purple. She responded to the gospel message, and she and her entire household were baptized. Apparently, she was a prominent businessman businesswoman, I should say, and according to Roman law, could own property, manage her own affairs. So her whole household, slaves, dependents, joined and became a nucleus of the church. It was also here where Paul cast out the spirit of a girl that had a familiar spirit. She was used by her masters to tell fortunes and gain money, and this caused an uproar that ended Paul and Silas up in prison. During the night, you may remember, they sang hymns all night. Eventually, there was a miracle, and they were freed, etc. But this was the church which was later addressed in the letter to the Philippians. So we're here at Philippi, a site pregnant with history for both the classical and early Christian worlds.